Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm looking at this 15 inch MacBook Pro 2011 which is displaying this circle sign with a cross through it and this means that we can't see the operating system. So one of the symptoms that the client mentioned was that um, they had just done an update on the computer and when that completed then this symbol came up. So um, this is a little bit unusual and would have been quite a coincidence. So um, what we did was just double check that the first aid was run on the recovery drive and the next thing as well was to make sure that the PRAM was reset and um, when these didn't quite yield results what I discovered was this thread on um, iFixit which had some interesting things to try. So this thread on iFixit shows that uh, there's the same symptoms of having a circle with a slash when um, after an update's completed. And um, one of the answers, which is uh, this one here, which is uh, about a Mojave MacBook Pro, um, having that same error message after an update. And what it's ended up being caused by is um, unsigned kernel extensions, which are little kind of driver files inside the computer, which have you know, migrated from an old installation of the operating system. and um, and what I'm going to do is uh, try this fix out and see if this will work on this MacBook Pro. So there are several ways to remove text files from the hard drive. And um, there are ways to do it with the recovery drive and terminal. And um, you can also use live USBs. Um, what I like to do is to use an installation of um, the Mac operating system and um, I like to put them on a USB stick like this one and then just boot into them and it's the quickest and easiest way to do it. So to create one of these all you need to do is boot into your recovery drive and install the operating system onto a USB stick instead of the internal drive. And uh, what we're going to do now is boot from this USB stick which contains a copy of um, Mac OS 10.11, which is El Capitan. So to do that, all we need to do is press the power button and hold down the option key. So what this does is it gives us a choice of the internal hard drive or this clone drive, or this is the actual recovery drive of the clone drive, but we want to boot into the, the main clone drive there. It'll run a little bit slow because this one's a USB 2 um, port for this um, MacBook Pro 2011. So once we're booted into the computer, what I'm going to do is navigate to the folder where the text files are kept. So this is going to be in the hard drive itself. So I'm just going to navigate to the hard drive, into the root, and I'm going to go to the library folder, and then we're going to go look at the extensions folder. And um, these text files are probably what's preventing us from being able to um, boot into the computer on the internal drive. So what I'm going to do is, uh, instead of just deleting them straight off, I'm just going to put them in their own folder. Um, just going to do that. Texts. And then what I'm going to do is move them into that folder. So that plus sign means copy, but if I hold down uh, command and I just dump them in there. Okay, good. So this KEX files are still there, but what I'm going to do now is shut down the computer and see if this fix works. So once the computer is shut down, I'm just going to take the USB stick with my copy of El Capitan on it, and I'm just going to switch on the computer normally. 
and see if that boots up as normal. Okay, brilliant. So that's booted in correctly and uh, we can see the login screen. So that's good news. All we needed to do was remove the text files. Um, there's various ways to do it using my USB um, operating system way. You can use any kind of Linux live um, USB or you can use terminal commands to do it too. Um, so there you have it. I hope you found this useful. It was certainly a hard fix for me to locate online because um, lots of people have issues with their hard drives, which uh, might be damaged, which is preventing them from um, seeing the, the boot up process, which um, is a very common symptom. But this particular one, which, is, um, which happens after an update, is very rare. So um, I hope you did find this useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and um, check out my next text video. Thank you.